Hello, everybody. Hey, I was kind of curious about a little gaming microphone I saw, and I'm talking to you on it right now. I don't normally talk much about packaging, but this thing was packed super great. It was in this little box. It, you know, they may change that by the time you order it, but it was in this insert, and then the whole box was inside a bubble wrap package. And that's it's really solidly uh, protected. And on the switches on the front of this thing, it came with this little piece of uh, protective foam to protect all the switches. To me, this is going to be uh, more geared toward the gaming people because it's really designed to be in the shot. It's colored. It's not designed to be handled, but I'm going to handle it. So there's going to be handling noise. I already know that. Just so that you can see it stand and everything and then these are the your, your uh, USB-C which I greatly appreciate and uh, the three and a half millimeter input and while I've got it in my hand I'm going to show you the off-axis rejection um, it does have a cardioid pattern so it will have a proximity effect also now I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so that's my first 90 degree angle and then that's off the back and then Maybe getting some reflection off the monitor because the monitor's right here. And here is the other 90 degree. And there's a wall just three feet from me. And then this is back around to the front. And I'll show you the proximity effect as soon as I get the handling noise done with. So you get up close and uh, you can get that little, little deeper sound out of it. And the good thing is, as best I can tell... This thing's got some kind of a limiter, although I don't see it in the specs. It's just got one of those quick start guides, little four page flapper quick start guide. It was plug and play. I didn't have to do anything other than select it in OBS. Uh, but the one thing I was going to say, if, if, you, if you get up close, then I'm just talking in more of a a what I would consider a normal voice if I was talking to somebody in the room and then if you get really excited it doesn't seem to clip I'm looking at it in OBS and I'm talking really loud and uh, my wife will probably be down here in a minute who are you yelling at but I just wanted to show you it, it doesn't at least in OBS it doesn't look like it's clipping I'm not running any filters in OBS. This is straight from the microphone. No enhancements. So there are filters in OBS. You could turn on noise suppression and things like that. But the, the good thing with the polar pattern being cardioid, this isn't a treated room. And it's not, it's at least that I can hear, it's not picking up a lot of room noise. You've got a microphone control on the front. Now, it's just a rotary indexer, you, but I'll show you if you turn it all the way down. There'll be clicks while I'm turning it down because it vibrates the body of the mic. And then I'll start coming back up with it. And there's no way to know when you really get to the top other than it quits getting louder. Then there is a... a control here get close enough so you can hear me this is the head headphone volume turn that up and down and then it does have echo so if you like echo i'll give you a demo of the echo now this is uh echoes completely off and about somewhere right about there yeah about eight o'clock and it's upon a potentiometer so it has a limit at the bottom and at the top and that's at about eight o'clock and I'm just going to run through real quick. Not a super big fan of the reverb. So I'll go through that quickly. That's at 12 o'clock. That's at about 3 o'clock. And then that's all the way up. And it even with the uh, proximity effect. If you're into reverb, you have one. And if you're not, turn it off. It doesn't appear to be picking up the fan noise. I can't hear it in the headset anyway. Uh, this will have plosives if you talk directly into it. I'll give you a demonstration. I'm going to talk. Peter's Papa prefers pineapple pizza. And I don't think that the plosives are honestly all that bad. And if you use a little bit of mic technique, turn it at an angle, 
And even even this close, Peter's Papa prefers pineapple pizza. So it's just pointed at the corner of my mouth, and I'm talking across the front of the microphone instead of blowing air into it. You could, let's see if I'll just blow on it. Yeah, you can make some plosives that way. I would, I would work with the off-axis and uh, talk across the front of the microphone. So I'm still blowing the same amount, and uh, but not hitting the, the element directly. It does have colors in it, and it's got a capacitive mute button. I really appreciate the capacitive mute button because there's no physical click. You just literally just... Can't hear me, so you don't know what I said. There's a, an LED that glows red when it's on mute. This goes red when it's on mute. I'm going to change the colors with this button right here, and it's going to click. So if you're wearing headphones, I don't know how bad the click's going to be, but I'll show you the diff some of the different colors in here. So that's a, a light blue, and that's a, I'd call that a sort of a yellow, purple, purple. So you can get a plosive if you do it that way. And this is a multicolor. It just it just goes through all the different colors, and then green, and then blue. I like blue and purple, so those are the colors that I would leave it on. Well, three things that are going to make noise: handling noise, and if you turn the rotary indexer to turn the volume up and down, and if you click the color changing button. So if you do all of those things before you start this, it's a pretty solid mic. Doesn't have a lot of bottom end. But then maybe that's a good thing if you like proximity effect, because then the bass is not overly boomy if you get into it. And just so you know, I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 about, I don't know, 20 inches from me, something like that for the video portion. So for if you're just getting started in gaming, a $20 uh, HDMI capture card, a GoPro, an inexpensive uh, webcam. And this mic, I probably should have mentioned it in the beginning. It's about, it was $39.95 free shipping with uh, Amazon Prime. For $40, I, I think it's a pretty solid mic to get you started in streaming. If you're going to do some gaming and stuff, I don't know what all the proper terminology is for gaming. So, you know, I'm, I'm an old fart. I don't do gaming. Some old farts maybe do, but this old fart doesn't. It, it doesn't have a lot of bottom end. It's not overly sibilant but it is a little so that's that's going to be something for you to consider depending on your voice and and of course if you need to lower your voice a little bit you can uh, set this up on a stand some books or something and uh, get a little closer to it get the proximity effect going if that's what you're into all in all for the amount of money that it's going to take you to get into this i don't think it's a bad deal so just food for thought. I'm going to throw some other videos up here. You can check some of those other videos out. I got a few on editing and getting started into YouTube in general. If you, if I'll, I'll either catch you in one of those videos or I'll catch you down the road somewhere. Anyway, take care. If anybody's still here, appreciate it. Talk to you later.